My name is Sarah No H. If you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, please like, subscribe, and share. You will be the first to know whenever I update, upload, send out any new content. You know what? I'm fixing to go down to Nashville and I got my bags packed, ready to go out the door. Would you guys? You guys want to come with? Perfect! All right. Pack your bags, we're headed to Nashville. First up was Lynchburg, Tennessee. This is the home of Jack Daniels and it's a dry county, so you cannot drink in this county whatsoever. Lynchburg is a town located in Moore County. So they have this really great area that you can walk around in. And then we headed to the Jack Daniels Distillery. You could do a tour in here and they can serve tastings because they say it's uh, quote unquote educational. This was really fun. You can pick up a Tennessee Whiskey Trail passport and you get your passport stamped and you can also grab yourself a poker chip that says Jack Daniels on it. So I got us the Angel Share tour. We're just waiting here in the lobby area before the tour starts. It was pretty freaking warm. I mean, really warm. But here's my ticket. We're ready to rock and roll. And at the end of the tour, they give you this tasting. So you get a good uh, sampling. Our tour guide was hilarious. If you get a chance uh, to stay or visit Opryland Hotel, please, please, please do so. This is an amazing place. It's like an inside world. All of the landscaping is alive that you see here. And this is in the evening and those are all the rooms up there and they have lights on the palm trees and it is just, I mean, it keeps going and going and going. Um, those are all lights up there by the ceiling. This place is just magical. It, I'm amazed at how much there is to look at and walk around. You can just walk around here for hours. Look at the ceilings. In the middle of Opryland Hotel is this fountain. So normally it's not running, but they do shows where the water sprouts out or sprays up to the music. I wish I could have put the music in, but I don't want to get a copyright strike, of course. But I mean, this is all going to music. And up, at, up top by the ceiling is what's playing. So it's all to the music and the water just gets higher and higher and higher. I mean, look at this. Look at the water. It is, um, you know, just going to the music. This was a great, great show. I think they might do this every night. Heading into downtown Nashville. This is daytime. Um, it was really, really hot when we were there, which I mentioned before. I think it was close to 90 degrees. And this is Johnny Cash, barbecue and bar. And there were people playing, of course, and crowds watching. That's a pretty famous place. Johnny Cash Museum is where it's at. So let's head inside here, take a quick look at some of the other places on the street. But we're going to go into Johnny Cash Museum. Let me show you some stuff. We were in here probably a good two and a half hours. Uh, you cannot take any video in here, so I had to take pictures with no flash. Here's just a couple of things. I mean, it was there was a lot of people in there, and I didn't want to get people <laughs> in my pictures. Um, this is a definite must. If you are in town, you have to go see it. Uh, there's just everything you could possibly think of in here. Look at the bag. I bought a mug.
all about that distillery life. This is old smoky moonshine. This place is massive. They do give you a stamp and a chip, so you can collect on that. Moonshine tastings up at the bar. Here's the Whiskey Trail Passport, and then some of the uh, tastings they were giving out. That pickle, that, that pickle was amazing, but um, I would, you know, warn people that there's moonshine in them before they eat them. You have to go see Ryman. It, even if you can't get in to get, see a show, I mean, you, you have to stop there. This is just one of those landmarks that you have to see in person. There was a band outside prepping uh, for an event that they were having that night. So we did get to listen to it for a little bit. You can walk into any bar and listen to a band. This was at Bourbon Street Blues and Boogie Bar. The band is Loose Lips. They were really good. The singer reminded me of... Steven Tyler with his voice, um, they were they were really good. Printer's Alley, you gotta go there. Alley Taps is famous. Just go down here. There's bars all up and down this alley. Uh, they're open late. You gotta check it out. And this is Nashville at night. This was Thursday night or Friday night. Can't really remember, but it was wild. The listening room is located at 618 4th Avenue South, and this this was a great show. Um, you have to buy tickets to go, but these guys up here are the ones that write the songs for the musicians that you hear on the radio. So they were talking about Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, Miranda Lambert, and playing the songs that they wrote specifically for them and performing them the way that they had you know, imagined in their mind. And of course they sound different because the musicians who actually put them together do it their own way. Leaper's Fork Distillery is located in Middle Tennessee. So this is another stop on the whiskey trail. It's family owned. You can take a tour. They do tastings. Um, I mean, look at the, look at how they laid out everything in here. I mean, those are the, the whiskeys that they make. We do get to sample each of them and they, it were the smoothest whiskey that I have ever had. No joke. Look at this cookbook. <laughs> Would you buy this? I almost bought it. Hilarious. Look at the glassware. I mean, I love everything they had in here. And if you know me, I love cups. I mean, I, I love glasses and cups and mugs. I have a issue and a problem, but all of these were really nice quality. Lots of stuff in their gift shop here. Right by the front door. I love that too, right? <laughs> The whole place is a definite if you visit. Arrington Vineyard is co-owned by country music artist Kix Brooks. It's located just 25 miles south of Nashville, and they have free music um, and events every weekend. So you can actually just go there and have a picnic. You don't even have to buy anything. Look at the scenery. I mean, this is just beautiful. Um, they have flights there. They do, you know, have a wide selection of dried sweet wine. So if you're looking for something different to get out of the hustle and bustle of the city, definitely recommend. It was really hot that day. So here I am sweating my butt off. 12 South, um, is a half mile stretch along 12th Avenue South in Nashville. It's a good neighborhood with vintage clothing stores and restaurants and other unique little stores. And if you want to go down there just to shop something different, that's a good place to head out. And they also have some murals. They're located all over Nashville. And here was two that I found. So I wanted to put them in here. Um, they actually have a, a mural tour that you can sign up for. Uh, if you look around the next time you go to Nashville, it's something you can definitely sign up for and take a bunch of pictures. Here's another mural. This is another one that was on the tour, but I happened to stumble up upon this heading to another distillery. Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery, 1414 Clinton Street, Nashville. You should pop in there that uh, Louisa's liqueur is so good. Kid Rock's Big Honky Tonk and Steakhouse. They have bands every single day, all day long. It was packed. These are famous. This is in the Gulch. If you go to Nashville, you have to go here. Trip ended too soon. 6 a.m. flight home to my doggy. 
it was a great time. I highly recommend you check out Nashville. You will love it.